You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and we are in the month of June, which is a very busy month, finishing up all the graduations, but never, ever not important enough to talk about the next subject. We're talking about prostate cancer awareness, and here to join me is Steve Bernard, the president of the Brockton area NAACP. Welcome, Steve. Thank you very much for having me on again, Mark. It's yeah. always a pleasure. Same here. You folks have undertaken a major initiative in Brockton to mm -hmm. deal with the high mortality rate dealing with prostate cancer in men, black men in specific, mm -hmm. in Brockton. Tell us about the initiative and how it came to pass. I've, I've gone, gone to some of your general meetings, right. but I mm -hmm. haven't been intricately involved in the planning like you have. Very fortunately, and as you know, uh, the Brockton area chapter of the NAACP is, is one of, of 16 uh, NAACP branches in New England. The New England area conference uh, meets uh, uh, four times a year, and at the annual meeting on, in 2014, uh, actually, uh, we had the uh, opportunity of listening to uh, Dr. Faina Stern, who's the president and C CEO of AdmiTech Foundation. Uh, who has uh, the initiative of uh, providing awareness and education and uh, to provide <clears throat> alternative uh, ways of treating prostate cancer, uh, less, uh, less invasive ways of treating prostate cancer. And she gave a marvelous presentation along with uh, some uh, uh, doctors who are uh, uh, physicians at the major Boston hospitals. And at that, at that meeting, I had with me the, the chair of my health committee, uh, uh, Leona Martin. Mm -hmm. And we were so impressed by the uh, presentation about prostate cancer and so alarmed by the fact that Brockton in Ply Plymouth County has the highest uh, uh, mortality rate of prostate cancer among men at risk, including uh, uh, men of African descent that we wanted to have uh, in a relationship with AdmiTech. We wanted them to come to Brockton and talk to us and talk to the community about how important it is uh, to have the PSA and digital rectal uh, examination and to consider uh, what options are uh, to, for, for treatment to prevent uh, uh, prostate cancer. So you're trying to make it less scary and more educational so people actually will do the tests, will not ignore it and let something bad happen to them. It's, it's amazing how many men don't even know what the prostate gland uh, is. And I'm not, not in a position, as, as not being a physician to, ex to explain that at this, this time. That's sure. what the doctors are for. But it's, it's a very, very vital part of our being. And we know uh, since meeting with, the, with Dr. Stern at AdmiTech that uh, men uh, age 40 uh, and, and older should have uh, a PSA examination uh, at least every two years. Uh, and it's important that we get the information out to people to give them the education so they'll know uh, what uh, the, a potential problem may exist uh, as they grow older, naturally grow sure. older. Sure. Uh, and so uh, this initiative, and, and you know, the NAACP is made up of, uh, of committees, mm -hmm. and a health committee is a very, very important committee. We want our men and women to be healthy so that we can all be vital uh, in, in, in uh, uh, sustaining members of society. And, and so uh, our committee, our health committee, has actively been seeking uh, members of the organization to join in this effort to, uh, to get the word out to the community uh, that we are forming an initiative uh, and partnering with AdmiTech to uh, provide information to them where they can make a decision mm -hmm. uh, as to whether or not uh, they're going to be treated if in fact they are at risk. Well, looking at this whole flyer that you sent to me, First of all, it says Prostate Cancer Awareness Honoring Father's Day, mm -hmm. and it's Friday the 17th, which is right coming before up. Father's yeah. Day, mm -hmm. coming up, 6 to 10. It's at the VFW Post at 283 North Quincy Street on the east side of town, which happens to be Representative Michelle Dubois' district. She's yeah, the mm -hmm. host rep, and you have the whole legislative delegation, and the mayor is part of this process because you bring up a really serious issue that affects everyone. 
At, that's right. At, at the one of the more recent uh, city council finance committee meetings, uh, there was a uh, opportunity for me to speak and introduce this uh, situation, uh, which we'll we'll call a crisis, mm -hmm. uh, be, because in Brockton and Plymouth County have the highest uh, mortality rate of uh, prostate cancer. We're given the opportunity to uh, to address uh, the subject, uh, and the city council uh, has de declared that uh, prostate cancer awareness and education uh, is a focal point of the city. Uh, and the mayor, we had an opportunity to meet with the mayor, and uh, he is going to, to be one of the primary sponsors uh, mm -hmm. of, of this event uh, on June, Friday, June 17th. So we have the city council and the mayor behind us, uh, along with uh, our partnering organizations, AdmiTech and uh, Good Samaritan Hospital. Uh, so the NAACP, Good Samaritan Hospital, and AdmiTech are putting on this function along uh, with uh, uh, the city council and, and the mayor's office. Well, We're yeah. looking forward to great participation uh, by the citizens of, of, of Brockton, both male and female, mm -hmm. because remember, women need to take care of their men. Well, a lot of times women get their men to go to a doctor. That's okay. right. Okay, because women <laughs> go to doctors a lot more than men, mm -hmm. and they're used to pretty invasive um, things. Mm -hmm. So I think they're given a little push. Right. If correct? you don't have a husband, you, you, you may have a boyfriend, and you certainly have a father or a brother or an exactly. uncle. Exactly. So it, it, it's a family situation. Mm -hmm. We want to take care, of our, take care of ourselves. Now, I just got the cue. It's a little under three. Mm -hmm. It says on here the goals, real simple, very clear, mm -hmm. to save lives and end health care disparities, mm -hmm. to present cutting-edge knowledge about screening, diagnosis, and treatment, mm -hmm. and to empower yeah. Empower key word. fully informed decisions on options in prostate health care. Mm -hmm. I mean, you couldn't make it more clear. But people, people are empowered first by knowledge. Mm -hmm. We're providing the knowledge, and then we're providing uh, information and in alt alt alternatives. Uh, and we'll have, we have experts that are coming uh, from major hospitals uh, in, the, in the area to share this information at no cost to the public. We would like very much for men at risk to, uh, to, to be there, meaning African-American men, Hispanic, Hispanic men, uh, men uh, 40 years old and, uh, and older who have a family history of prostate cancer. And, and isn't it, uh, I mean, we could both call out names of prominent people in uh, the prostate cancer does not discriminate. One in seven of all men have uh, prostate cancer. Well, we're going uh, to bring but the the among African Americans, yeah. it's two and a half to three times that's greater. What, that's what it says here. And well, I just got the high sign. We're going to have the doctor on mm -hmm. to talk the specifics. You gave us the overview. Mm -hmm. We might just pull that clip out of the city council meeting and add it to the mix. So thank you for doing what thank you're you doing, for having Steve, me. and right. uh, we'll keep promoting it. All right. Thank you so much for your help. You're welcome. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, faces, people, and places right here in the City of Champions.